The search for Mesha Kebe is now closing. Government's DNA results conducted on a body discovered at Savo National Park confirm it to be part of the lost ICC witness. Ya leo, kabla ya sambili, nilipata simu kutoka Kariuki na akasema hiyo results imetoka na ni positive. It is a relief of sorts for his family amidst the emotional torture of finding one of their own. Na nikasema ya kwamba hata kama nitampata akiwa ni chifu kama alichomwa, oh nitaweza kuchukua hiyo chifu na kusika. Ili aweze nijua ya kwamba ndugu wangu nimemweka pale akiwa nikitinda. On this day, the family has a few answers to questions that have continuously troubled their minds for the past two months. Mesha Kebe went missing in December last year. He was an ICC witness and there were claims he was bribed off the prosecutor's witness list. He had interest in local politics and was well known in his terrible home in Wasingishu County. He was a reserved man focused on his family. Meshak's 80-year-old mother has had no peace for the past two months. Mama huyu ametezeka sana kufikiria mtote yake. Hata kama ni wewe. Chiuni wewe na kuenda mtote yako wanakucha kutaputa wewe na kusalamu na umemaliza ya mama. Na wewe napende yako. Unaperekia mkate. Unaperekia ile chakula safi. His wife Lillian soldiers on. When her husband disappeared, she was three weeks away from delivering their second born child. Lillian and Meshak's son was born early this year. She named him Yebe Jr. in honor of her late husband. Pipiake, na pipiake na saa chuzi, na ye na penda pipiake na watoto yake, na naona hui ya Meshak, anaka bila buwana, Yebe's brothers have also been forced to put up a brave face. The mystery began unraveling in Nandi County, where at first they thought they had identified a body believed to be that of their brother. DNA results showed the body was of Yusuf Hussein, causing more anxiety in the search for their lost brother. A month of all this, a call from the Moiri Faro Hospital in Voi provided a glimmer of hope, leading them to the coastal region where DNA tests identified the body of their late brother. Jami, tumesikia kupumzishwa katika katika masumbuko ambaye tulikuwa na. Tangia mesha katuache, hatijakuwa na amani, lakini kutoka leo nafikiri tutakuwa na, tutapumzika kidogo. The brothers are now in talks with the lead investigator John Karaoke to allow them to take the body and finally lay Meshak to rest. The body's release, however, is dependent on the time taken by the government to conduct a post-mortem on your base body. A human rights organization from the Rift Valley now says it is conducting independent investigations into the death of Yobe in light of statements by the Office of the Prosecutor, distancing itself from any involvement in the disappearance. The dust surrounding the mysterious Yobe story is seemingly settling now, but voices on who killed Yobe and why remain quite loud. Luis Wangoi, NTV Eldoret.